The guru that sold him the dream of overnight riches was talking garbage. In this video, we're cutting through the hype and we're getting down to the core strategies that doesn't just build you a quick book with affiliate marketing, but helps you build an income stream that delivers year after year. You see, there's a world of difference between affiliates who struggle to make a few sales and those who constantly rake in commissions. And it all boils down to a three-point framework that I've used since day one. Hey everyone, my name's Kieran Doyle. I'm an affiliate marketer and an entrepreneur, and I've been utilizing this framework for the last 15 years to constantly produce income for myself. It's brought me to partner with people like Pandora, Bearing, US government even, people like Hostinger, and I've helped so many people build their online presence. And it comes down to not only the three-point framework, well, three-point framework actually fits into this concept, sustainability. You see, that means more than just making money or making a quick book. It's about actually building a business that is built to last, that can weather storms, that doesn't matter about changing trends that are actually going on because it continues to provide value for your audience. So what does that mean? Well, it means a reliable income. It means a loyal following. And it also means that you have the ability to pivot whenever you want. And one of my favorite examples of this is Minimalist Baker. It started as a simple blog that focused on creating food with 10 ingredients or less. And it built it into this behemoth with online courses and cookbooks and a line of baking mixes as well. This is the kind of thing that we want to be looking to build, not just a quick fly-by-night business. And it comes down to this here, this three-point framework. If you get this three-point framework correct, you will have no problem in growing, keeping, and making money for years to come. So the first one, what do you think the first actually is here? This is what it is. Now, it is so important. It is your niche. Now, this isn't about following the latest trends and jumping on every new AI craze that's actually going on. This is about finding something that you love, that means something to you, but also super important, has growth potential, and it doesn't need anybody to be an expert to get started. Some of these niches that I love personally are number one, Education. I love education. I teach education a lot. Well, I teach online business. I teach SEO. I teach affiliate marketing. I love this education niche because it is ever expanding. People are always after it. But the next one is sustainable living. People are always looking, especially with all this climate change stuff going on. People are always looking for ways that they can actually become more sustainable in this world. And then another niche that's absolutely exploding but has you've seen the general progression of it and that is digital nomadism and this is not going to stop this is going to continue 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 it's got at least another 20 30 years on it so it's something that if you're interested in get on it and what do you think number two might be well number two is your brand okay your brand this is super 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 important so you've got to think of yourself almost like a trusted advisor within your niche and how do you do this well you share your expertise you connect with your audience you connect with the people who are going to purchase your products you become friendly with them you help them you teach them you train them you get them to get the same results as you because that builds a reputation and that reputation precedes you. People talk about you before they even meet you. They already know about you. That is what you need to build. So how do we do this? Well, it's super simple. We create great content on our blog or on our social media or both of them together. We engage with our followers and we become that go-to person that people come to for information in our niche. I mostly do this through my email list. I get people from the different social platforms, from Google, get them onto my email list, and then I build my reputation in there. It's why my email open rates are so high. And as you can see now, I've been doing YouTube as well, because this is a way for me to share information that I love with people who want to achieve the same things. So branding is super important. So we got niche, we got brand, and the next one, this is key here, okay? 
diversifying income streams. So you don't put all your eggs into one basket. You don't kind of only choose one affiliate program. You don't only choose one kind of avenue of income. Of course, you have multiple affiliate products that you promote. You've got courses that you promote. You've got consulting that you promote. You've got training, group training. All of these are income streams that bring you in money. And even you think about it, one of the things I'm massively interested in is mindset, okay? So from affiliate marketing, part of my business has expanded into mindset and overcoming the initial hurdles of actually getting started in online business, which is massively interesting to me. And I've had to deal with myself. I've had to go through the process to overcome a bad mindset to become a good mindset. And you can too. This is what I'll say. You don't just stop at one product or niche. You can then expand into related niches around you. So that builds your sphere of influence. When I started out, I wasn't always like this. So I started out, well, it took me a while to actually start earning income online. But when I started earning income, I started in a niche called bad credit mobile phones and I made a killing with it and it was absolutely brilliant. But the more that I delved into it, the more I found I really didn't want to do it. I had no passion for it. And that eventually fizzled out. So, you know, yeah, I made that quick book. Well, I made quite a, quite a lot of cash through it. But the enjoyment of it was, wow, it wasn't there. And when you find that, that the enjoyment isn't there, what you do, you will soon fizzle out. Money does not matter. But here are some things I just watched to make you understand. Affiliate marketing isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. It takes time, effort, and a strategic approach choosing the right niche, building your brand, and diversifying income streams. But if you're willing to put in the work, you can build a sustainable business that rakes in commissions year after year. And also, when I talk about brand here, people start worrying about that. Oh, no, I, I wouldn't know what to do. It starts by as simple as this, sharing some information that you are interested in. That's it. Don't worry about all the flashiness or anything like that. That can come later. But even, just don't even worry about the flashiness. Just be yourself. Like that famous Oscar Wilde quote, be yourself because everybody else is taken. Okay, that's what you need to be. Be your own personal brand. And when it comes to diversifying income streams, look at, just find, like, and that's the easiest way to do this is, let's say that you're in the web hosting niche, okay? And you love web hosting, you love creating websites. Just diversify your income streams by promoting DreamHost, A2 Hosting, Hostinger, the list goes on. And then you talk about the different benefits of each one and people want different ones because they have different requirements. Boom, okay, you've diversified your income streams, okay? Then potentially you make an ebook about it, okay? And you start building your email list around that. Then you can start promoting other products related to things that people want for their websites. There you go, another income stream. Remember, affiliate marketing is a marathon. It's not a sprint. If you treat it like a sprint, you won't last long, okay? You'll build and you'll basically explode and then you'll disappear and you'll get so disheartened with it. If you think strategically from the start and realize, look, this is gonna take time to actually build, then you have a much better chance of actually building a sustainable income stream. So look, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed how to build a sustainable affiliate marketing business. My name's been Kieran Doyle. And if you're new here, make sure that you give it a like and a subscribe. If you're returning, guys, I wanna hear from you. What do you think in the comments below? Are you on this already?